what is up everybody welcome back to the channel today you are joining me in Beaumont California I am currently sat here at uh, it's called the Lowe's flatbed distribution I don't know if any of you guys have ever been here or not but um, I'm just kind of doing a check-in on YouTube I we had a Halloween party all back a couple weeks ago and stayed out too late and ended up catching whatever was going around and so I was coughing stuff up and so I haven't been too active with making my videos the last couple of weeks but um, feeling better now still got a little head congestion that I'm still trying to get rid of but with that being said I just figured I would check in on old YouTube here and see what you guys are up to and let you guys know what I'm up to but um and then uh I did replace an airbag and I'll get out and show you guys that in a second and also mud flaps and so I learned a couple of things in the process I didn't end up videoing either of them um I just didn't think about it with my uh when I did my mud flaps and then when we did the airbag it was me and a couple buddies uh, my GoPro was dead and I just forgot to charge it so just simple dumb stuff but anyways this is Lowe's flatbed division in Beaumont California for any of you guys that care to see it so essentially it's just a huge yard so wood and looks like some stone maybe there out my passenger door and some pipe and a few different things but um if you guys ever do get a load coming to this place make sure you have an appointment prior um damn near gave me a heart attack yesterday so i was driving down i just left utah i stopped at my house because my house was on the way from denver to here and uh i stopped at my house and then when I left I was got to into Nevada and uh, I decided to start Google searching you know where I was going to kind of see what roads I needed to come in on and things like that and I called them and they you know originally they just said I was going to a Lowe's so I was like oh no big deal you know 7 till 4 30 delivery times you know no big deal I'll just get there when I get there and then uh when I looked online it said something about a Lowe's flatbed distribution center and that they were only open until two o'clock and then when I called the phone number the phone number said that they only accept deliveries from 5 a.m. till 11 30 a.m. and so um, when I was on the phone I decided to hang out and talk to somebody and when I was talking to the lady she said that they you know that that was right on five 30 till 11 or 5 till 11 30 whatever I just said was the delivery times but you had to email this email account to get uh, a delivery time sorry I was paying attention to the guy over here and uh, so I was like oh crap you know well I'll do that and and then uh so she gave me the email and then she's like well when do you want to get delivered and I was like well first thing tomorrow and she's like oh there's no way you know and today's Friday um, and she's like there's no way that you could get delivered on Friday we have our train coming in which you guys I don't know if you guys I don't think you guys can see it out the passenger window it's over there behind those wood piles but their train coming in and then they were already booked with appointments as you can see there's trucks all lined up here along the side of me there's a truck here in front of me getting unloaded they're loading trucks down there and i think there's a couple behind me getting unloaded but so she's like yeah there's no way that you're going to be able to get in friday it'll have to be monday and i already have a load scheduled going back to colorado out of bakersfield which is like 170 miles north going back to Bakersfield that delivers at the first of the week and so like I was panicking you know I was like oh crap you know if I can't deliver till Monday you know for one I'm going to turn around and go back home because I was only like 40 miles from my house 
when I called, but, and so I called my buddy Tyler, who's one of my business partners, he's in the office, and was telling him, and anyways, we got looking at the rate con, and there was a delivery time, and he called the dispatch, or the broker, and they had already booked, uh, booked the delivery time for this morning, so. So that was a huge stress relief, but I damn near shit myself when they said that I wasn't going to be able to get in until Monday because that was a, you know, would have messed up the load going back to Denver and it would have kept this load on the truck for essentially, I picked it up Wednesday afternoon, so the load would have been on the truck, you know, Wednesday afternoon till Monday morning, and so it would have just killed the week, but... But yeah, anyway, so if you do come to a place like this, just make sure you have a delivery appointment. So this is definitely one place that wants you to have delivery appointments. But with that being said, let's jump out and I'll hurry and show you guys a couple of things about the airbag that I learned from a buddy he owns. Well, he doesn't own, but he runs a, an excavating place up where I live and so he taught me some things with the airbag which I'm much appreciative of because now I'm more than comfortable I can change out an airbag next time and not have to figure it out on my own but first of all mud flaps so this mud flap I ripped off backing up and you can see it's quite a bit lower than that mud flap because when it ripped it off it bent this bar slightly which I didn't realize until I put this mud flap on and it's damn near hitting the ground. But, um, first of all, what I learned with the mud flaps, when you're gonna take them off and replace them, make sure you go buy new bolts or have new bolts and nuts, washers, whatever you wanna use on hand. Um, as you can see, you know, this one and that one look a lot newer than like this one and that one on the outside. And then I don't know if you can see the one over there shining. But there's essentially two new bolts and nuts on that one and two on this one. And so with your tires flipping up all the nasty shit towards your guys' mud flaps, all the water, salt, just road debris in general. Well, when I went to take off the old bolts and nuts they snapped like you know I just I essentially got out um, a crescent wrench and then uh, an open-ended wrench or a closed-end wrench I can't remember what I used but but I mean the tools I mean it's not that hard I mean you guys understand that, you know it's not that hard to change out a mud flap you're probably wondering why I'm doing a video about a mud flap um, my main reason was because I didn't know and so I'm hoping that I can help you guys, but I just jumped out and started changing them. You know, I went and bought them and mine have the the curve in it. Now you can cut the mud flap here. It's simple, you know, you just use a razor knife. But I didn't know and nobody had ever told me that, you know, with all the buildup and nastiness that you get on the back side of the bolts, I went to twist the nut off and twisted the bolt right in half. And so, I had to jump in my personal car and I ran over to uh, O'Reilly's Auto Parts and I actually went and bought these new uh, bolts and nuts because, you know, out of eight bolts and nuts that I had to remove, four of them broke in half when I tried to take them off. And it was just, you know, plain out from just all the crap that gets built up on them. They get rusted and everything else, so... So, my recommendation is when you do change out your mud flaps, um, make sure you have new bolts and nuts handy. That way, if this happens to you, it doesn't take more time. You'll just have them right there and you can throw them up. Okay, with that being said, airbag. This is the new airbag. I don't know if you can tell. You can probably tell if you look under here. See, these ones are all weather corroded, getting old and nasty. This one's all brand new nice rubber um now what i learned with changing out the airbag is i'll try to show you i don't know how good this is going to come across oh it looks a lot better when i take my sunglasses off but um 
So essentially they're really simple to do. You have this nut that you have to take off the top. There's one on the bottom and then this airline. So when this airline has this little rubber grommet or whatever that slides over the, the nut. Now what I didn't know is my buddy that helped us do this he had um, he has a little valve that he screws in so what he did is he pulls off this rubber grommet and then he unscrews this airline when you unscrew this airline um, all the air starts leaking out obviously and so the whole back of the trailer starts falling well he has a little uh, air fitting that he screws back into the airline after he takes it off and it blocks you know the air from coming out and so it holds the truck up so you either want to do that or he said what you can do is you take a block and you'll stick a block here on top of your axle that will catch your frame as your frame starts falling as the air starts leaking out so stick a block under there and then you know, as the air starts coming out of this airline and lower in your truck, it'll land on that block and it'll keep your truck lifted up to where you can get this airbag out. So, so there's those two ways you can do it. You can either have a, a fitting that you screw back into the airline to hold the air in your system, or you can just let the air drain out of the system, but first put a block on top of your axle to catch your frame so that you can get this airbag out so but you know after you take the air line out and you either block off the airline or you put a block on on the axle then you can take and you just unscrew this nut off the top and then i don't know if you guys can see it but there's a nut down here on the bottom um both of mine were the exact same size and so after that you just squish the airbag pull it out and then just squish the new one put it back in tighten back up the nuts and bolts or well just the nuts on this i guess and then put the airline back on make sure everything's tight fill it back up make sure there's no air leaks and you're done so i think it took us a total of about oh 15 minutes or something to do that but it was nice he had a, a pit that we could climb in and so we climbed down underneath the truck and checked drive lines and fittings and you know made sure my starter was still tight because i just replaced that starter you know a month or so ago and whatnot but but anyways guys with that being said i just wanted to do an update and then uh share that information that i learned about switching out the airbag and the um, the mud flaps so but I'm going to let you guys go and I will see you guys on the next video thanks for watching